Hey, welcome back! Okay, today our focus is going to be Isabella from Encanto, of course. I mean, there are no other Isabellas in the world. She's the only one who currently exists. So, I mean, I don't know how you could possibly have thought it could have been anybody else. So, Lego has not made a mini doll of Isabella yet, so I made my own. If you missed that video, make sure you check it out. There is a micro doll, but that will not do for my purposes because it's too cutesy and I want to make something, you know, more realistic to the movie, though, even if that's even possible, I don't know, because the room is constantly changing and in flux. So, who knows? We'll just make something. So, to do this, obviously, we're going to need a lot of pink. We're going to need purple. We're going to need lots and lots of flowers. Oh my gosh. Right, so flowers did we say let's see pink purple and a bit of like when the light hits it there's orange in there too but we do need something a bit different so also got just one token cactus in amongst all of that pink so this is the pre letting herself loose Isabella room so lots of symmetry lots and lots of pink right so first up the focal point of her room when you first come into it is her bed and it is a magnificent bed and I want to do justice to this bed so this is gonna be yeah well let's see whether I can achieve it so this tile was actually her bed in the Lego micro doll book so I'm gonna incorporate it into this bed so I want to use this as part of the bedspread like sprinkled flowers on the very very this cat here in here so I'm kind of that uh we want to use this as part of a very very I mean her bed is just pristine like look at the corners they're just tucked hospital tight so we need white with roundy corners uh yeah okay so this is gonna be what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna try and make the shape and then I'm gonna backfill what else I need here to hold in the pieces that I want to be here so it might not be the most efficient way to build the bed but uh this is this is how I go about creating things <laughs> it's a bit chaotic but I'll get there in the end so I hope so I need to be able to put the actual bedspreads on here I don't need to fill everything in this will just hold them up nicely and then uh, I want to have there has to be a bed head for that really fancy wooden head bed head <laughs> bed head as well uh so I need to leave space for that and these is that going to go there or is that going to be part of like the blanket turnover bit I don't know no let's leave it there so this is gonna be it's gonna be quite a large bed but that's okay because it's like it's the focal point of this room so put pink up here for that's for the turny bit up the top with the pillows and to try and get all those pillows with their really cute tassels not really gonna be oh hold on I need to just make sure I fill out bits underneath here to try and get what's happening on on the top uh yeah to try and get those piles of pillows this will be the front layer and then on this smooth layer I'll try and sit up some more pink pillows so these rounded pieces I can put these I don't even know the names of these things these <laughs> these little ones with the they look like tassels so basically we've got a little bit of tassel work going on with those pillows but I have to figure out how to attach them so to do that we're going to make my idea of what that headboard is with the wood and the triangles and this is going to be that and I can attach the pillows to it like hold on I can put that in the middle I reckon there we go so that is t not terribly secure but it looks really awesome so I'm gonna go with that and I need to attach it onto here so let's backfill some more bits and then to actually attach it so that I can angle it just a weeny bit I want to have these pieces so that goes on like that and then when I pop it on like there look at that I mean it looks terrible from the back this is a bit protruding but we're not looking at it at the back this is just going to be just looked at from the front so her bed and on the bed just a focal flower with a splash of green to because there's actually not a lot of green in her room which is so surprising but yeah anyway so around the edges it's uh, it's sub suspended obviously so we're going to need some hooks to suspend it from and there's it's also on a wooden base and the mattress well you know the mattress it, the wooden base extends just a little bit out from the mattress so I need to try and make that happen so it doesn't look too ugly and bulky so let's build out the bottom here first and then if we use these tile plates with the jumper studs on them that should just offset just enough so that it peeks over the edge but it doesn't look too bulky there we go we'll put yeah yeah I think that'll work really nicely and then just backfill all the little spaces these ones on the sides this one goes here and yeah now we just fill in all the rest of the bits and if I was feeling really classy <laughs> I'd be actually holding all of these in with another layer underneath but I'm not going to let's just put <laughs> let's put our suspension on so this is like it's hanging from vines and I actually made vine pieces out of these green sticks and leaves and flowers and I thought they were so pretty but you have a look at the picture and 
there's just not that much green. It's too green. So even though I thought this looked really, really lovely, it was too bulky. It was not elegant enough for her bed. So I dispensed with this idea completely. I mean, it looks so good. We might use it in something else. I'll keep them for some other really fun build where we can hang a bed <laughs> from some vines. So we're going to make a more subdued suspension. So I don't have a tan color. So the gold works quite nicely. And if I put it together with a little lightsaber handle that puts these sticks together at pretty high height. I think this will work all right. And if we put these all on here and then I'll just put this around the other way so that they're all facing the same way just for <laughs> nobody's brain explodes. And then we need some flowers on it, but just a light smattering of flowers. So we're going to use these hooks, put the flower in backwards and these old style Lego flowers actually in it. And that makes it all, it just makes it really pretty, but very elegant. So I'm going to put these at random heights up each of these that's grubby. I mean, these are pretty old flowers, these pink ones, these light pink ones. So maybe up here for this one. And then on the back, I mean, I don't want too many of them. I don't want to clutter it up with flowers because the rest of it, the rest of her room is just basically lined wall to wall with layers and layers of flowers. But these are not. So this is just it's quite, yeah, it's very, very pretty. So now to make it actually look as though it's suspended, putting some transparent tubes, little cylinders underneath for, 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 for this to sit on. And yeah, I don't want to put it any higher than that. I think that that'll look really nice. And it's not too big. I was worried this was going to be a bit big, but nah, it's good. She can have a slightly oversized bed. It goes really well. Okay. All right. Now to make her room, it's going to actually be this beds up on a second level. So we're going to have to put stairs up onto another level. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and her room is infinite. All of their rooms are just like infinite and ever changing. And I don't know how to achieve that. So let's just do one thing at a time. So here's our base. We're going to need a backdrop and we're going to need to lift it up. And oh my gosh, let's start with the backdrop. And oh, there are no, no smooth surfaces in here because everything's just covered in flowers apart from the pots. So to do this back wall, let's make that kind of drapey look that she has behind by using different colors of pink and then adding flowers onto that. And I'm just trying to see where, where I want this to actually sit in, in relation to the bed so that it actually comes in a little bit, but not too far in because I don't want it to detract from the bed. And then it can kind of dribble down the side. Does this make any sense? It will as we go along. So I'm using these transparent pieces, nice pink transparent pieces to put this dark magenta going down to the floor. So to attach it, we're going to need those bricks with the forward facing studs. And then we might do the same thing on the other side, but don't worry about the fact this has got a window in it. We're going to be covering that over. So this is just a support on the back for our big pink back panel. And then we need to fill in obviously this space. And to do that, I'm going to use some more plates because I don't have exactly the right size to fit in there. I think that should be enough. Yeah. And then I just need to put another plate behind these to hold them in place. Doesn't matter what color I'm holding them in with because they're all, it's all on the back. And we're not going to look at the back of this build once it's done. Nuh -uh. And then putting it on like this. There we go. That's nice, but I'm going to just pop it out because there's a little bit of a gap down the bottom. So I'm going to fill that with these nice smooth tile pieces and then that fits just so snugly. And yeah, we'll just, I'll put that in there just for extra security. All right, now I want to line the edge of this magenta veil piece with the middle pink flowers. So I've kind of built these up so that I can alternate them. And this is going to just, I mean, we're going to start adding flowers. I do not have enough flowers to put flowers on every surface of this build. And the actual studs look kind of furry. You know what I mean? So, cause it's not, they're not smooth, but yeah. So we'll be getting away with not covering everything with flowers, but I'll put as many flowers on as I possibly can. And then more flowers in this middle section of the magenta. And I'm just going to use these. I've preloaded this nice big piece and I've got very few actual magenta leaves. So I've used them just here. That's all I have. And then these are really, really pretty like these big petal pieces. So if I put a rod in there, I can stick them into the plant piece and maybe offset it. I'm just trying to avoid some of the really, really hard edges that I've created by putting those plates up there. So if I put like hang flowers off the edge, it just softens it a little bit. So it makes the edges not look so, so severe because this is not severe. Everything in her room is very, very fluffy, though it is very regimented as well. So I don't know what I want to think about with this. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep going. I'm trying to make sure these big flowers don't actually line up. They 
almost don't line up so that's all right we'll just leave it like that for now i'll probably fix it you know as we go along right so the bed's gonna go in here and i think that that's a big enough space for the bed yeah that's good so now we have to figure out how to actually secure all of these these floor bits together and lift it up off the ground so using the gray bricks that i have a prominent amount of and i just don't use a whole heap of let's start building this up and this is how I often build. I make my scene and then I backfill it. So it can look very bodgy, but this is just how we're going to go about it. And I'm going to use these to line the front. Yeah, so we're going to need some forward-facing studs to actually attach, attach our... Yeah, attach our plates onto the front and we're going to line around the sides as well too. So don't worry about those grey the grey bricks. We're going to be covering them all. I've put pink bricks over here because that's where the staircase is going to go up to her bedroom level. But let's get all of this up to a high enough level to actually be able to put a staircase in without looking absurd. Okay, I think that that's all held down. Oh, hold on. I need a base plate here. So I'm going to go from pink through to purple in the front. So now I need to layer everything up by another plate and now we should be good. Okay, now putting these mid pink plates on here and then to make it go around the corner because I didn't actually leave any forward facing studs around there and I actually wanted to curve around the corner and look smooth. I have done this incorrectly. Let's do that again. Using these curve pieces and then putting, yeah, and then making a layer of bricks to actually go around and I've already pre-prepared a whole section of one by four and two by one bricks, is that right? And that goes around. And if I was classy, I would actually attach that at the back somehow, but I'm not going to. So it's fine. It's just going to sit there hanging off the side. Looks fine. My flowers have fallen off. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a catastrophe. It is not. I can just put them straight back on. All right, for this side, not nah, going to leave it alone for the moment. Let's work up here on the bed level. So where is this going to go? Can I put it back just a little bit? I reckon I can snug it back there and it won't intrude too much on the flower wall on the back. And these, uh, I mean, the, the suspension bits, like the vines, they have to actually attach to something. So I might want to think about that. So let's make a, <laughs> but I mean, it's going to be the idea of attaching to something. They're not actually going to attach. So if I just put a whole lot of flowery pinky foliage up here, which I have pre-prepared with lots and lots of, because otherwise this would take hours for me to put all of these extra little bits of, hold on, I've dropped that off, these bits of flowers on up here. And the pink elephant trunks are really good for adding height here and adding that viney effect, like a pink viney effect. And if we head this up to the pink support that I've put in there on the side, it can kind of look as though this is where it all suspends from, kind of, sort of. I mean, it's magical. It really doesn't matter. But I do want to fill up this section up here. Though I fear that I need to make my back, my backdrop, like the back wall go up just a little bit higher now because it looks really weird. No, you know what? The flowers look really pretty suspended up there in negative space. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to call it. <laughs> just own it. Make it my own. I'm trying to figure out how I can put this extra elephant trunk in there just to make it all look viney and cool. Look at that. It's so pretty and pink. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. That's lovely. I'm going to leave it alone. If I touch it again, it'll probably all fall off. So now this connecting wall kind of has coral. No, not staircase yet. The connecting wall. Let's put, it has coral colors in the actual movie. So I, I mean, I think they look kind, I don't know if I have enough coral to actually make it all tie in nicely, but I'm going to put some token coral bits in here because when the light hits the pink in the actual movie, then it turns to this orangey pink and I love it. So that means I'm also going to make the stairs that coral color. So I've been dying to use this stair design since I saw it in, I think it was just in the monkey kid, uh, in, in the, the city, the monkey kid city build. So it's so cool just using a ladder and then using little hook pieces to hang, hang your step bits off. So if that's going to be at that height, it's going to come around the corner. So I'm now actually building off the base plate that I've popped in, but that's right. We can backfill that section. Let's put this in here. So that's going up to her bedroom and the side looks whacked, but that's okay. We fixed that here. See, ta-da! And then we're going to curve around. So using these curve pieces and more, yeah, more coral for the top. All the stair all the stair treads are going to be coral <laughs> breaking stuff because there's just not enough support underneath. It doesn't matter. This is the display piece. It doesn't need to be functionally solid. Uh, and I can use some of these flower bits or these leaf bits and there's not enough room to put one in the middle. So if I just make one and then I can use the leaves on either side of it to trap it in place. Look at that. 
Nice. So now that looks nice and full. Now, stairs to go up to here. Just more pink bricks, I reckon. So if I put one step tread here, step tread, stair tread here, build it up and maybe just a little bit higher. And then the next one down here, is that going to be too low? Maybe I should... That looks maybe not, you know what, I'm just going to leave it for the moment. If it annoys me, I'll fill it out. And we need some sides for this. So I'm going to make little curvy sides for the stack. Oh, hold on, I need to move everything over just one stud. We're just a bit off, off center here. So these go in like that. Put that in here. Here's the other side that I've already built up. There we go. There are her stairs up to her room. Now, let's work on this side. I'm going to need to do the same thing as the rest, to, but I'm going to need some actual outward facing studs. So let's put these angle bracket bits on to attach some... Oh, I need something for the top of the stairs. Of course I do. That could have been very, very dangerous. It's all right. She has all these really, really soft flowers to fall on when she slips down the stairs. There we go. That looks slightly, slightly less dangerous. All right. So mid pink plates here just whatever I have to fill this space this is on the side and this is actually going to be I don't know I reckon I want to look at it from kind of this angle this side so let's just make sure it looks nice from this from this angle so lots and lots of dark magenta foliage but with the pink flowers on it I'm just trying to trying to fill this section out here so that you don't really see that ladder staircasey bit empty bits in the side there it's just a bit of a visual illusion that looks weird from the front. I wonder if I can still looks a bit. No, it looks less weird from the front. Right. All right. And on this really, really abrupt edge, let's just soften it with some more flowers, more flowers, alternating colors, dragging a little bit of the purple from the front up into the bedroom, just like a tiniest token bit of the of the purple. And all of the bushes that she has are so round. And so I don't have any pink stems that make a round bunch of flowers. So I'm just having to use green. So there's going to be a little bit more green and they all have white pots. So there's one nice token round bush up here in purple. And that's it, I think, for that upstairs layer. So down here on the bottom level. Yeah, let's just fix this step. That's so much better. Okay, I think the stairs might be a problem because they're getting in the way, but I want to make the big flower mosaic, like the idea of the big flower mosaic like she has in the movie, just an idea of it. So I'll see how far I can build this out. And I really, really ultimately wanted that dark magenta circle bit in the middle to have a hole that you can, that I could hold the cactus on, but I don't have that piece. I don't even know if it exists. So I'm just going to have to balance the cactus right in the middle of the mosaic. I think that that would look really, really cute. So using all the colors that we've already utilized in here, just building out a nice symmetrical mosaic design. Very pretty. Now, what else does she have in her room? She's got a couch, like this whacked couch and some chairs that are in the same style and trying to build this is going to be an absolute nightmare. So let's do this. I can't, there's not enough room for a couch. I don't have enough creativity with to make that couch back without actual stickers. So going to just do a single chair and make those pointy bits or the soft pointy bits like a peacock's tail out of whatever Lego pieces I have, sticking as many flowers into as many spaces as I possibly can. So this is going to be the back of the chair. And now to actually, hold on, is that going to work? Uh, well, let's make the armchair bit first. So it has those rounded out soft poofy arms with these round pieces and then that should go on the, hold on is that gonna that's not gonna intrude a, i don't know let's just keep doing this i'll worry about it in a moment i think i just need to build that out a little bit so let's put the base on first too so this is just gonna finish up the bottom of it just so it all looks poofy and comfortable and now this is what i need to put this on here and centralize it. it it's going to spin a bit, <laughs> but that's once again, okay, we're just going to put it in place. We're not going to, not going to touch it again. So this is going to have to actually attach the base plate. So this is the only way I can think of to do that. It looks a little bit like it's suspended in the air, but I'm a okay with that because the back looks the way it should. So that's what I wanted to do. So side table as well. I don't think there's even one of those, but I can't just have a single chair without a side table and a cup of tea. Now, more flowers. So this, this cheerleader's pom-pom thing in light pink is just perfect to pop in a, in a vase. And we're going to put a couple of these in some of these spaces. So one here and maybe one on the other side of the stairs here. 
And in her room there are lots of these like really really sculpted bushes but trying to make circular things of this small scale in Lego is really hard so I'm just gonna put a couple in and a couple more bushes in as plus we're running out of room I don't think we want to go too crazy so if I have this this is the same way we built the other one up on the top level it's just a slightly different color scheme and to make a different pot design I want to just put a tiny kind of lid on it so to do that I need a couple of studs inside just to hold it in place and then we can stick this onto the pot see very nice doesn't that look nice and then for the other side same thing and now we have a space in the middle to make an arch she's got arches at like the entry into her room and to make an arch I wanted it to look soft so I thought these purple vines might work even though they're pink in the movie but I'm just going with my own color scheme now to match in with the purple down the bottom so if I twist these I did a lot of I did a lot of a lot of trial and error with lots of different ways to make an arch and this just looked nicest I think it looks more organic but her arches are fluffy and this is not fluffy this is more viney but this is my idea now of what she could have in her room because any arches I was making out of Lego were just really smooth so I didn't want smooth because nothing in her room is smooth it's all fluffy so I want to use these pieces that I actually used yeah for the vases I'm going to use them to actually stick this into a couple of purple leaves to actually hold it up and there we go that looks nice and pots can go back in there's actually holes in those black bits so I can stick a flower in them to disguise the fact that we've got a bit of black in there now I think that looks really nice on its own but I'm going to try something I'm going to get flowers and put cherries in them and I can use the space like the hook capacity of the cherries to kind of hook them onto the vines and maybe if I put enough of them on here it will look fluffy <laughs> does that make any sense I mean I have a gazillion of these cherries so I've always looked at them when I've sorted and gone what am I gonna do with all these cherries well hello this is what we can do but I don't know how much I like this because it kind of just looks messy rather than fluffy it's hard to put them on symmetrically so putting as many on as I possibly can in the hope that it will work and you know what I don't really love the end result so I'm gonna take them all off because I like the simplicity of the purple vines but I might give it another try later off video and see if I can get them on more symmetrically and make it look fluffy but look at that pink around there that looks really nice I could just layer that in front of everything so you know what I don't think I can fit anything else in here so let's give Isabella her something different her cactus look at that I mean that splash of green that's why I actually have the green on the bed to just tie in the green from the cactus too and I wanted the cactus to sit exactly there so I'm just gonna perch it there I think that looks really really pretty for the end product so it looks nice from this angle it looks nice from this angle this is the angle I actually think I want it to be viewed from I like it on this yeah on this diagonal I think that's a really nice view for her bedroom but I'm just gonna backfill at the back here just a tiny bit because that looks a bit more finished so what do you think is so much pink oh my goodness it's almost a too much pink build but yeah okay so this is my idea in Lego form of what some of well some of the ways that Isabella's room which is always changing looks let me know in the comments what you think make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so and yet come back because I've got so many more ideas that I just want to translate into Lego form so join me on that journey all right I'll see you again soon bye